all of those dubious deals, all those businesses of where you dupe people, all those businesses where you swindle people, your hands are dirty. And the place of prayer where God wants us to lift up holy hands. First Timothy 2 8. I wish men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without rot or doubting. All those businesses. Can I say this to you? There are some businesses a Christian should not be involved in. There are some things a believer should not sell. How can a woman, it's in the, can I ask you a question? Have you seen any of, in Nigeria, any office that is open in Nigeria? They open the office and put a signboard, buy your cocaine. Huh? Okay, that's even too far. Buy your weed. Igbo, Igbo. Have you seen the play like that? They, they sell it. Okay, white corners. Huh? Under somewhere. So, white corners. And most people who are selling it, their children are not taking it. Am I communicating? That's why I told you the other time, I said, stop taking alcohol. Because those who are selling it, they are not using their customers for advert. If you want us to read back or show us what happens to people who are drunk, let them be staggering and, and hold one bottle and advertise it. Not showing somebody who is sane. Your hands must be clean. There are businesses that no matter the profit it will give you, avoid it. Your hands must be clean. Somebody using you as a young lady to pose and do a phone call all because they want to sue a white man. Your hands must be clean. When you, listen, it doesn't matter how you try to explain it. When you are a part of it, the same level of judgment. Let me explain what that means. Somebody uses you to do, to dupe somebody of 10 million naira. And the person gives you 10,000 naira from it as your profit. Let me say this to you. When God wants to punish you, he doesn't check fraction. God does not check the fraction or the proportion of money you collected. The same judgment. So there are things you must not do. Clean hands in business. Your businesses, your transactions. I'm, I, I mean, it's so crazy now you see the level with which children are pursuing money now. 19 year old, 20 year old. I was invited to preach somewhere and they put me in a guest house. Everybody I saw in that hotel was 18, 19. I relocated. 18, 19, 18. You see small, small guests like that. That's how they're coming. Tying handkerchief or wanting on their waist. They are following the small boy with all their hair tainted. I said, these ones have not even appeared. They have already disappeared. The first night, I couldn't sleep. 1 a.m. To them, it's like that was when it was daybreak. All their eyes were red. You know, this one have taken drugs. What's their age bracket? Children. Pursuing money. A 19 year old, 20 year old, he wants to hammer. Hammer for who? Who are you feeding? What children do you have? Don't eat your tomorrow today. No, you want to hammer. You want to listen to me. I've been around for a while. If I talk to you, listen. Listen. God didn't just teach me the spiritual things, God taught me life. I can tell you, I know a man in this town, they sang with his name all over this town. They sang with his name. That was the first man I saw a limousine in his hand. As a young man, those who are in town know. So, shut up. Don't call anybody's name. Those who are in town here know what I'm talking about. As I speak to you today, he's a cab driver. He's a cab driver in Lagos. He ate his tomorrow today. It's not possible. You cannot enjoy now and enjoy then. All of this is coming to you now through corners. You don't care. I must make it. Anyhow, I don't care. I'll make it. No problem. Make it. You are making your future vague and empty you don't care what you do you don't care what you do clean hands there are some monies you don't need in your life there are monies you don't need in your life say I beg I beg I beg I beg what is it somebody have to make this money 
I am not putting a gun to your head when I'm preaching to you. Make your decision. We are going to give account. Not in heaven, no. Here, to start here. Before you go to hell fire, you will pass through earth fire. It will start here. Clean hands! There are some things people give you. Question it. Am I communicating? That's why the old Apostle Suleiman hates Yahoo boys. Hate Yahoo. Why would I hate Yahoo boys? I didn't know human beings. I don't hate Yahoo boys. I hate Yahoo. Are you following me? I don't hate the boys. Why would I hate them? But that thing they are doing, I feel for them because to them is quick money. Quick money is blood money. Anything you swindle somebody, somebody's labor, somebody's ardent money, you swindle the person and collect it. You are laying a cross on yourself. And it's transgenerational. It's transgenerational. Am I communicating? It's transgenerational. Any money you get without process, without due process, you are not smarter than others. So stop thinking you are smart. People are smarter than you, but they know the repercussion of that kind of smartness. So stop thinking that you are the smartest. Say you are sharp. You are not sharp. That thing you think you know how to do, people know, but they know that life will pay them, so they refuse to do it. I told somebody, I said, you think if I want to jam this place down to the road, down to the other, I don't know the gimmicks people play, but I follow the Holy Ghost. I can't do that. If I say fruit of the womb service now, come with seven apple for seven children. You will see apple. This place will turn to apple market. Are you following? You will see apples. I'm not, I'm not against anybody who does that. But I'm just trying to let you know, if it's not the Holy Ghost, it will expire. And there is something very funny. When God gives you an anointing, it doesn't take it back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When God gives you an anointing, it doesn't take it back. Romans eleven twenty nine: the gift and calling of God are without repentance. It doesn't take it back. Once God called you, he has called you. You can be doing rubbish and you still be flowing the gift. God doesn't take the calling. He will take the glory of the calling. Somebody is talented. Song will still be coming. The person is living immoral. The person is living in hatred and animosity. Singing. But the glory, what would have made the person tick? God will take it. So, it will just be floating. It would have been to 17 nations. It would just go to 2-3 places. As far as it's concerned, it's being celebrated. But the glory, God told me, I do not take away the call. I withdraw the glory of the call.